My name is Tony Bahu, and I play the Dumba. His hands move so fast, so you just can't help but dance so fast. It's exciting, it's crazy, it makes you hyper, it's energetic. Uh, energy that is something I really don't quite understand. When I see Tony, when I listen to him, it's like something I've never seen before. Definitely sexy. He changes it up so much that you never get sick of it. You can't get sick of it. I've always loved playing music ever since I was a little kid and I picked up about every instrument I could find and when I picked the Dumbak up it just amazed me and I loved it and I loved to play it. I have played all across the United States. I've played in South America and Central America. I've played in uh, Canada. What it is about my music that makes people go is it's just the power and the beat. It's an infusion of all sorts of types of music. The rhythm and the drums and the percussions and the live that really make people just get up and want to go. <laughs> I don't play with a DJ, I don't play with other people's music. The music that you're hearing is music that I've produced or have had produced for me. So that is my music. I think my music fits in several genres. Club, maybe considered as electronic, hip hop, Latin. I have some things now that I think would, would even fall into some of the rock category. One of the songs features a very dear friend of mine, her name is Dal Boyer. My name is Dal Boyer. I'm a singer and performer and entertainer. Tony, he, he enjoys a variety of flavor, but he seems to feed mostly off of the really high energy where he can just rip because he's incredibly fast. And vocally, um, it was a lot of fun working with him. It was just as much fun working with him as it is working with him live. It, the amazing thing about him is that you could actually put him on any style of music you're doing and he will find a way to enhance it and change it into a whole nother song that breathes new life into everything you do. A prime example was the first time we performed together. I called him up that day, said, hey, can you, can you help me out? You want to come work tonight? We had no rehearsal whatsoever. I don't go up there rehearsed. I don't go up there knowing exactly what's going on. Whatever comes, whatever feels right, whatever the audience needs, whatever the night needs, whatever the, the, the room wants, I get. The beauty about having an MPC 2500 or any other machine I may use to reproduce the music right on stage is that I have complete control of my show. Because if the audience needs it faster, I can read that and go faster. If the audience needs something slower, the dance floor is calling for something slower, I can give the audience what they're looking for. There's nothing like seeing it live. As an artist, I always get my energy from the crowd. While, while I am the entertainer, to me, it's the audience that's the entertainer. See, I see the audience moving, I see the audience shaking, and to me, that's my entertainment. I believe music is a universal language, and I believe that I can communicate to anybody from any part of the world with my music. Right now, what I'd like to do is hit that venue with 60,000, with 80,000 people, and just know what it feels like to be on, on that kind of stage. Music is the language with no barriers. And, and how I communicate is through my rhythm, through my beat, through my music, and, and just allowing people to feel it. And, and it's a feeling that people understand, no matter what language they speak. I really think there's no limits. It, it can get very big. Can Tony Bahu go mainstream? Absolutely, hell yeah.